Hi everyone, this is Gio Herrera. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel, Gio Zavaya How To. If you found my videos helpful, please hit subscribe and stay tuned for new videos. Avaya just released a new service pack and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your system manager to 7.1.3 service pack 4. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start by using our WinSCP application to log into your system manager. Once logged in, navigate to where your system manager software is located and transfer the file to your system manager. When you transfer the file, make sure to save it in the root SW library directory. The software has finished transferring. You can close your WinSCP application. Next, open your PuTTY or mRemote ng application and log into your system manager via SSH. When you first log in, you will be under the home directory of admin CLI. Change your directory to the root SW library directory by typing the command cd space forward slash SW library. Hit enter. Next, type the command ls space minus L and hit enter. You should see the software you just transferred. We are now ready to upgrade our system manager to 7.1.3.4. I'm going to type the following command smgr patch deploy space forward slash sw library forward slash in the system manager 7.1.3 bin file. Then I'm going to hit enter. Then it's going to ask me to enter my password for admin CLI. Then I'm going to hit enter. Next, it's going to verify the patch. Once it's done verifying the patch, it's going to ask me to press enter to read the license agreement. Once I'm done reading the license agreement, I'm going to type on yes to accept the terms. Next, it's going to ask me if I want to proceed with the installation and I'm going to type yes. And the software installation has begun. The upgrade has completed successfully. System Manager has finished rebooting and I'm now going to check the software version by typing the command SW version. Then I'm going to scroll up. And as you can see, we are now running on the latest build, Feature Pack 3, Service Pack 4. This concludes our tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.